Moving on now, countries around the world are battling intense heat waves. And now with the onset of the El Nino, temperatures are reaching record levels. Scientists say climate change and El Nino are major contributors to extreme heat. Temperature records have been broken in Beijing and Rome. Millions of Americans are suffering due to scorching temperatures and extreme heat warnings. We'll break down the El Nino weather phenomenon and how it is accelerating climate change due to global warming for you. El Nino is a natural climate pattern created due to unusually warm waters in the eastern Pacific. This forms when the trade winds blowing east to west along the equatorial Pacific slow down or reverse as air pressure changes. Trade winds weaken these warm western Pacific waters to slosh back into the colder central and eastern Pacific basins. This build-up of warm water in the eastern Pacific also transfers heat high into the atmosphere through convection, generating thunderstorms. The shift in storm activity affects the current of fast-flowing air that moves weather around the world. This is called the subtropical jet stream. It pushes the path of air southwards. Now, as meteorologists say, if you're changing where the storm highway goes, you're changing what kind of weather you expect to see. And this is exactly how El Nino effect the world's, affects the world's weather. During an El Nino pattern, the southern United States experiences cooler and wetter weather. But on the other hand, parts of the US West and Canada get warmer and drier. Hurricane activity falters as storms fail to uh, form in the Atlantic due to changes in the wind, sparing the United States. But tropical cyclones in the Pacific get a boost with storms small islands in the region. Parts of Central and South America experience heavy rainfall, although the Amazon rainforest tends to suffer from drier conditions. In the Southern Hemisphere, Australia endures extreme heat, drought and bushfires, but the El Nino provides relief to the Horn of Africa by bringing more rain to the region. This is unlike the triple dip La Nina, which led the region to suffer failed rain for five consecutive seasons. Both El Nino and La Nina occur about every two to seven years on an average, with El Nino lasting about nine to 12 months. La Nina, which takes place when waters are cooler in the Eastern Pacific, can last about three years. Climate change is doubling down on the impact from El Nino. This happens due to multiple layers of heat or excess rainfall on top of excess, as I mentioned, excess rainfall here. But scientists are unable to determine if climate change is the driving factor behind this phenomenon. But now, due to rising ocean temperatures, it is unlikely that the El Nino cycle will change anytime soon. Extreme heat due to El Nino in the Northern Hemisphere is increasingly straining the healthcare systems as well. The WHO is working with the World Meteorological Organization to support countries in developing hot weather action plans to coordinate preparedness and reduce the impact of excessive heat on health. The WHO's Public Health and Environment Department also raised concerns about impacts of heat on pregnant women and people with diabetes and cardiovascular disease and asthma, as air pollution would be part of the problem. Local and national governments need to identify all those potentially at risk, while hospitals should ensure that they had an action plan in place. Countries need to decarbonize to mitigate the cause of climate change, which is increasing the frequency and intensity due to the duration of those heat waves. In collaboration with the World Meteorological Organization, WHO is supporting countries to develop heat health action plans to coordinate preparedness and reduce the impacts of excessive heat on health. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.